Mary Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who were well. In salutation and much love, the Yakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, this is the brother Arch, Green Mills from Tampa, back with another lesson. Lord's was going to be edifying to the hopeful elect. I was just thinking of meditating on, uh, I think it's in, in, in Second Ezra, where it says that um, even greater evils than these that I have seen, you know, roughly paraphrasing, will come upon the earth, you know. So uh, uh, many great miseries are coming to this, to this earth, especially here in Babylon. All right. Think the Lord's about to ramp things up and, and quickly. There's going to be death, all kind of death and destruction all around us. But like the scriptures say, uh, it shall not come nigh unto thee. All right. 10,000 on one side, 1,000 on the other. So people are just going to be dropping dead. Okay. People are just going to start dropping dead, man, in whatever way the Lord sees fit. All right. Men are about to get. Uh, they're gonna start to getting drafted off to the uh, to the Middle East for World War Three. You know, it's a it's a hot topic now. Now everybody's a prophet on YouTube, right? Everybody talking about World War Three and then all the all the talking points we beginning with the uh, elder apostles, great millstone events, saying for years. Everybody got talking points now, but that, as the scriptures say, then shall they know a prophet was among them. All right, you can't prophesy when something's happening. That, that doesn't make you a prophet, you know. You, you to be a prophet, you have to have said it before it happened, not as it's happening. Okay, so now that all these things are happening around the world, right, geopolitical wise, everybody now everybody wants to hop on the bandwagon, so to say, and think they know what they're talking about when really they don't. Oh, well, this you know they try to get all in, these people try to get all intricate with it. Like they know what they're talking about, but in reality, they don't know what the hell's going on. But we can explain it very thoroughly right, through the scriptures. Ultimately, it's the will of the Father, right? It's prophecy. Right? They, you know, again, people now they everybody got talking points on YouTube or you know social media. But we said, hey, we said it first, and same thing that's going to happen with the mark of the beast. You know, nobody's talking about that though. You know, everybody wants to deny it or, you know, try to beat around the bush about it. We'll tell it to you directly and correctly, you know, no sugar coating it. I don't care if you don't subscribe and, and donate. We don't give a damn about none of that. Our job is to warn, all right? Get the blood off our hands pursuing Ezekiel chapter three. You know, we're not up here for gimmicks. We're not up here for thumbs ups. Or uh, uh, you know, uh, like and subscribe, right? Nah, we don't. We we just doing what was commanded of us, all right? It's the this is our reasonable service, all right? Not only to prophesy, you know, that's the spirit of Yahushai, but we also have to uh, walk in the light, change our lives, all right, for the better. Because what we're ambassadors of Yahushai, we can't just be living any willy nilly life that we that we feel like. You know, is acceptable. Is, is it acceptable to the Lord? And that's what it's about at the end of the day. Is it the Lord pleased with your life, the way you're living, the things you're doing for him? And if you're not doing nothing for him, that's a big problem. But your life has to be centered around his truth. All right? We're not here just to be, you know, Israelites on camera. And even that... You got Israelites that uh, people they know they're Israelites on you know on YouTube and they're acting they showing their asses you know mixing heathenism with this uh, ministry you know trying to join up with with a bunch of uh, uh, demons all right and, and save the black community that's not what this is about ain't nowhere in the scriptures you're gonna find about saving the black community you know so. This is about the elect. The Lord ain't coming for every Israelite. Just because you know you're Israelite don't mean nothing. But again, the, 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 the judgment of the Lord is going to begin at, at, at a sanctuary, right? Them that know they're Israelites are going to 
start to get jacked up, keep playing games with the word of the Lord. <clears throat> like Luke chapter 12 says, all right, that he that knew was beaten with many stripes. But the ones that didn't know, they're still going to be beaten, of course. But you know the will of the Father and you don't do it. You're going to be beaten with more stripes, many stripes. All right. Why? Because you knew better. Okay. So the Lord ain't playing games with, with, you, with you jakes out there, man. Just you t-shirt and fringes and you know, cartoon characters. This is about serving the Lord, man. Not serving your own belly or, or getting some clout. Because that's a lot of what these guys want. They want the fame. They want the clout. They want to be the biggest and baddest you uh, Israelite YouTuber doing podcasts and interviews and debates. Man, what the hell is wrong with you people, man? This it. None of this is about us. All right, we're we're just vessels. I right? commanded to do a job so that the Lord could get all the glory. All right, of course we're going to be glorified, but we have to suffer with Him. Uh, was that in Romans eight? <clears throat> if we suffer with him, we'll also be glorified with him. But we have to suffer first, man. We have to be hated for his name's sake. Be persecuted. Be reviled. Not loved by everybody. The black community and the, the, the brown and black community got to come together. Man, the hell with the black and brown community. They can all, they're all going to die in thermal nuclear destruction. The, elect, the Lord's only coming for the elect of the nation of Israel. Not no damn black and brown community. And, they don't, and, and again, these guys that <clears throat> these false prophets on YouTube, they're YouTubers. That's what I call them. They're YouTubers. Uh, YouTube. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, Podcast. Uh, not streamers. There you go. Streamers. Whatever the hell losers they are. They're not really about it, man. They're not about suffering and taking the low. All right, being humble. But again, they're going to be the first ones judged. When the Lord opens up the can of whoop ass, all right? We, and then again, then they shall know the prophet was among them because they, they the false prophets are going to be getting jacked up. But the true prophets of the Lord, they're going to be taken care of through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Scriptures say, my servant shall eat. All right, we, we're not going to have to trust in the devil to get something to eat. The Lord's going to provide. All right, that's why we have to strive for this truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Because right, a, a lot of these clowns on YouTube, they're going to fold up when the pressure comes. Because they're not, they don't have no faith ultimately. That's why they're making it about them. You know, buy this T-shirt and buy that hat. You know, come down to the to the cookout you know they're they're just trying to be uh people pleasers man and again they want to be seen of men they don't want to be spoken ill of so they 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 trim their ways and the scripture tell us uh trim not your ways to seek love roughly paraphrasing these guys man they'll bend over backwards to get some followers all right get some donations coming in cash app <laughs> but again the lord's gonna take care of his true servants man and we we already see it all right we already experienced the power in the names of yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. all right and that's why again that's another thing they're, they're pushing israel away from the names the true names why because the lord ain't dealing with them he don't want he don't want the majority of the people to call on them anyway and you know some people will call on him and be and be ignored you know so this is about truth and sincerity not clout chasing you, know, you want to be a, a damn instagram famous israelite that's fucking ridiculous but you got a lot of jakes like that why because they don't want to give the glory to the lord because they're the same people that rejected the Lord back then. The same people that rejected the Lord back then, are they're all back here today doing the same shit. Just in, just in America. That's the only difference. Now they got a t-shirt with fringes. You know? Hey, but the Lord sees it all, man. You're not going to be able to... They're not going to be able to deny their wickedness when that judgment comes. All right? 
and you could they you know they point the finger at us and say we're the worst thing ever all right cool you can keep saying that but we'll see who the lord fights for in that day okay come on because <clears throat> everybody got something to say now point the finger and like scarface said tony montana and uh in the in the scene where they're at the diner or was it the restaurant and then the bitch bugs out and everybody's looking at him. He said, what are you, at? you need people like me. <laughs> so you can point the finger and say, that's the bad guy. So, hey, you, hey they, the, the, <laughs> the world needs people like us, man. The, the, the true prophets, all right? The ones that are always hated. All right? You read throughout the scriptures, the prophets were always hated, man. They always had haters. <laughs> always had people talking shit about them. But guess what? The Lord was dealing with them. You can point the finger at us all you want, but the Lord will justify us. That's why the scriptures say, so what if some did not, Romans 3, so what if some did not believe, you know, so that make the effect of the most high, or the will of the most high without effect, you know, rough paraphrasing. But you shall be justified in thy sayings, the fourth verse. So we're going to be justified in our sayings, because what we said is going to come to pass. Not maybe, if, ands, or buts about it. We know for 100%. We, uh, uh, we've been fully persuaded about what we're talking about. If you're iffy, ish, you know, wishy-washy on, on what the scriptures say, that's your problem, not ours. We break it down. 100% truth, as the apostles always say. We got, the, we got the truth. We're not debating nothing. We don't need to debate it. We got the answers. Debating is when you, <laughs> you know, you're trying to get to the point. Two, two different parties trying to come together to get to the, uh, a point. We don't need to make... It'll come to a point with you people. You either believe us or keep it moving. All right. We'll see who's right when the shit hits the fan, which is quickly approaching. Which is going back to the what we said at the beginning. Those those uh many great mysteries, man. Great greater evils than thou hast seen. Things are about to get violent. All right. People are gonna have to start fighting for their food. People are gonna have to fight for a place to raise their head. And kill, not just fight, but kill. Unless you serve the Lord, the Lord's going to fight for us. However that may happen, it's to be determined, but it will happen. And the Lord could do it in, in any way, in miraculous ways, you know. So we ain't worried about that. We're not doomsday prepping. We're, we're spiritually prepping, all right, storing up riches in heavens. We're neither moth nor neither moth corrupt or thief steals, you know. You ain't going to be able to take nothing from us. We've already forsaken all. But these guys, these YouTubers, they know they're Israelites. <clears throat> they don't want to lose their status and their fame and their money. Your guns and your guns. You know? But all that's going to be taken from them. And they, hey, that's why they, a lot of them is going to fold up, end up taking the chip. <clears throat> why? Because they don't even believe the chip is the MOTB. So they're going to, that's why the scriptures say the love of money is the root of all evil. But these people love their money because what it provides a certain lifestyle. The more money you got, the uh, so-called better life you live, right? <clears throat> but how do you get the money in this society? You have to sell out. You have to be a degenerate. So if you got an Israelite worth millions of dollars, a deca millionaire, right? You know that nigga sold the hell out. You got any? You know, I'm not saying brothers can't have good jobs and you know do well for themselves, but come on, bro. <laughs> The Lord, the Lord said, you know, uh, um, who was it? Oh, uh, what well, was the Lord either way? Uh, give, give me neither riches nor poverty. You know, we, we, you know, we're not here to be billionaires, millionaires, and and, and uh, Supergram or Instagram heroes on you know social media. Your social media, oh look at him. And nobody cares. At the end of the day, nobody gives a shit. And the Lord definitely don't care about your status in, the, in Babylon the Great, the place that he's going to destroy. So, you know, it, it would behoove you to serve the Lord to the best of your ability and repent as the kingdom of heaven's at hand. And things are about to get real nasty out here. All right, a time like no other, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Jacob's trouble is quickly approaching. So anyway, with that, Lord's will, this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise his glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rukhak Wadash the bonus to the elder apostles the great millstone who were well and say much love to the elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Shalom